Welcome to Raw Online. Today's topic is toxoplasmosis in pregnancy. So, toxoplasmosis is caused by an intracellular protozoan parasite, Toxoplasma gonadae. Now, how is it transmitted? It is transmitted with the ingestion of a cyst, in which comes as a means of infected or undercooked meat, and ingestion of oo cyst that is contaminating the cat litter, soil. or a contaminated water and food can also lead to toxoplasma gonadae infection now mostly this infection is subclinical and the symptoms usually include fatigue muscle pain and enlarged lymph nodes now maternal immunity can protect against fetal infections so if the mother is immune to toxoplasma the baby will likely not get infected and if the initial toxoplasmosis occurs in pregnancy transmission to fetus can result in congenital toxoplasmosis and associated neurological and ocular manifestations in the intrauterine life toxoplasmosis can be detected only by a prenatal or a newborn serological screening in the fetus the rate of vertical transmission increases with gestational age so first trimester toxoplasma unlikely to go to the baby second trimester more likely to go to the baby third trimester toxoplasma in mother primary infection is highly likely to go to the baby so as the gestational age is advancing the rate of vertical transmission from mother to fetus increases what are the effects of toxoplasmosis on pregnancy infection in pregnancy may cause abortion or result in a live born infant with an evidence of toxoplasmosis disease now third trimester infection in the mother with primary toxoplasmosis results in higher rates of fetal transmission 40 to 60% than in the first trimester which is only 5 to 15% what is the rate of vertical transmission at 13 weeks it is around 15% from mother to baby 